Hey, Seth, congrats on a big road win, man. This really felt like quite a statement about uh, your team's toughness. The, the two possessions that uh, defensively really stuck out to, uh, stood out to me, uh, one of them you were a part of where you had missed the three ball on one end, but you stayed in the game. You went up the floor, grabbed a steal, and, and went up a, on an and one. Can, can you just tell us how, like, maybe that's a, a microcosm of your guys' culture where, you know, when, when things don't go perfect on, on one end of the floor, it seems like time and time again, you guys mentally stay locked in, and, and obviously it helped you win a big game today. Yeah, that's a big part of basketball, staying ready and, um, you know, being prepared for the next play, uh, having a short memory, and that's something our team has, has done a really good job at embracing. So that's, yeah, that's really all that was. And tell me a little bit about the, the game plan going in with uh, Kofi Coburn and just trying to figure out a way to, you know, limit his touches a little bit because you guys defended him pretty well as a team. Yeah, um, you know, we knew he would be a force and, uh, you know, they're a really good team. We knew that all that coming in, but, um, you know, obviously keen on him and, and uh, you know, keen on 11 uh, were, were two, you know, key points uh, going into this game. So, um, you know, yeah, that's, that's all I can say on that. All righty, we'll go next to Clay Hall, WSYX. Hey, Seth, uh, <clears throat> to be in double figures, to give Ohio State that lift, off the bench scoring and, and certainly on the other end as well. That balance right now without CJ in the lineup, how important is that? And, and how comfortable are you getting now uh, up to speed? Yeah, um, I'm really just taking it game by game. And um, obviously some games are better than others and uh, it'll be a roller coaster of a season uh, for our team and, and for me individually. But, um, you know, just trying to stay as locked in as possible. Um, you know, preparing so I can be as healthy as possible during the games and then coming on performance. CJ is a huge part to our team and uh, we can't wait to get him back. <clears throat> um, and he's doing, honestly, uh, shout out to him. He's doing a really good job. Um, and, you know, th these are the things that, that players don't get much credit for, but he's like a, a, a coach on the sidelines. So, um, you know, he's still finding ways to contribute to this team. But, um, yeah, we, we can't wait to get him back. But, um, where we're doing a really good job. Thanks. All right. All righty. We'll go next to Adam Jardy, Columbus Dispatch. <laughs> Seth, uh, you've, you've played a lot of basketball. What does it take to close out a game the way that you guys did when it's coming down to free throws at the end, they're pressuring you guys. I know you weren't on the court necessarily for that, but what does a team need to find success in situations like that, like you guys did today? Yeah. Um, you know, it takes a lot of things, but ultimately it's like, um, you know, all, all or a lot of games are going to come down to the wire, especially in the Big Ten. Uh, we've seen that, you know, throughout the entire season so far. And I think we're going to continue to see a lot of really close games. So um, <clears throat> it's going to take, you know, having uh, the wherewithal to, to finish games, um, to come up big in the clutch. And uh, I, I think we did that really well. They, they you know, went on a run and uh, fought back hard. But, you know, we did a, a good job executing at the end. What are those fi those like huddles like when, when there's timeouts and I mean that last minute took a long time but when you when you keep having having breaks like that and you guys are getting a chance to talk to each other in the huddles what is what is this team like in those situations what are guys saying what what is the mood like in in those types of moments um, you know there's urgency obviously but um, everyone's just locked in uh, and you know coach is leading the charge um, but <clears throat> you know you just have to be 100 percent locked in you can't. You know, the moment can't be too big for you, um, you know, just going out and executing, really, so. All righty, we'll go next Thank to you. Patrick Murphy, 247. Seth, just sort of what Clay asked, but where would you put yourself in if you gave your percentage of, of where you can be um, that you are right now? And, and, and how much does it change, like you said, game to game, how much you can give? Yeah, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure I could give a, a percentage, just – you know, it is it is really up and down, especially as the season progresses and uh, we play like uh, as many games as we're playing. But, um, you know, again, I'm, I'm just trying to take this process day by day. Um, I know that I could I can, you know, advance and progress a lot more than where I'm currently at. So, um, you know, obviously looking forward to improving my health every day and uh, improving my game back to um, you know, back to form and kind of 
uh, dotting the I's and crossing the T's on a lot of things. But um, yeah, I'm you know working hard pretty pretty much every day. <clears throat> this week, getting getting the win against Northwestern after the game uh, in Evanston, then coming on the road and getting this. Just just how do you view this week in terms of your progression throughout the season? Seems like a big week to me. Yeah, huge, huge for our team. Uh, you know, Northwestern got us the first time, so we were really locked in for that one. Um, and then, you know, subsequently to come on the road and, and get such a huge win. Um, I think it's telling us a lot about ourselves and who we are, but um, it's something that we pre we prepared for. And so, um, yeah, just, just taking that and kind of figuring out who we are. <laughs> All righty, we got time for two more with Seth. We'll go to Bruce Hooley. Bruce. I'm good. Mine was asked already. All righty, we'll go to Colin Hess Hill, 11 Warriors. Hey, Seth, I know, you know, maybe two months ago, Coach Holman was talking about how he thought you guys were, you know, a work in progress and you guys needed to, you know, it was going to be important for you guys to make improvements during the season. How much have you sort of seen the progress that you've made just day to day, month by month? Um, sort of coalesced in the last week or so? Um, you know, honestly, I think it's it's pretty visible. We've made a ton of progress as a team, um, like chemistry-wise and, and and so on. Um, I think, you know, you, you see Michi already making huge contributions to the team. <clears throat> um, you know, my health, my health improving and uh, so many people, like, coming into form and uh, – I, I think, yeah, the chemistry is, is probably the biggest thing. Um, you know, we're finding each other where we like uh, our spots to be, and you see so many people on the team uh, coming alive because of it. So, yeah. Was that the most physical game that you guys have played as a team? Uh, so far, probably, yeah. 